Hi guys, thank you for tuning in. For this week's video, I want to give you guys the difference, uh, the, the key ingredient of the difference of what makes a good salesperson a great salesperson. Every salesperson stereotypically knows a lot about their product. They know their service, they know how to present, they know how to build rapport with the client. Where they fall down and what stops them from being great is that ability to close, to close the deal, to get the money, to get the client on board to your company. So what I'm going to give you guys today is three golden sales nuggets that you can use in your everyday closing activity, which if you implement your closing habits, will help you to do more business. So number one is this. Number one is know exactly what you want to get from the deal, from the proposition, from the opportunity, from the sales meeting, from the sales call, from every sales scenario. Know what you want to get before you go into that scenario so that you can get that outcome. Number two is this, ABC, ABC, always be closing. Always be looking for that opportunity to close the deal. You know, if someone asks you about price, it's not necessarily a negative. They could actually be saying, hey, Mr. Salesman, I am ready to do business with you. And number three is this, have a closing line. Have a really good closing line for your sale so that it gives the client a better opportunity to make a decision, i.e., so if someone's ready to do business with us, so, Mr. Client, when are you ready to start? When would you like to start? Listen, we can get you started next Tuesday or Thursday. What day is better for you? But you need a closing line which finishes the conversation and, and brings out a decision from your client. So to wrap this up, number one is know exactly what you want to get from the client. Number two is always be closing. And number three is have a really good, strong closing line. Guys, if you implement these three sales nuggets into your everyday sales habit, closing habits, you will do more business. Next week, we're going to be talking about preempting the negative. How can you preempt the negative in your prospects to deal with the negative before they even arise to enable your chance to close more business? I hope this video has helped you. My name is Michael, the company is MJB, and when sales matter, we deliver.